Today, the iPhone is the most popular camera in the world. I know I use mine all the time. It's quick and convenient, and I can share images really easily. There are a couple of problems with it. There's a very, very small lens, and that small lens can only gather so much light. No matter how good the sensor is, there's only so much detail in the images. And there are also some issues that come with having a small, multi-purpose lens. So let me show you a couple of really cool tricks using iPhone images in Photoshop. Here we are in Bridge, and we can see that we've got two JPEGs straight off the iPhone. They look exactly as they did coming off the camera, and I want to get all of the detail that I can out of these. So I'm going to use Camera Raw to do that. But in order to do so, I have to trick Camera Raw into opening non-raw files. So there are two ways to do this. One, we can come up here to our Camera Raw Preferences and ask it to automatically open all supported JPEGs. That'll work for all of the JPEGs I pass through here. Or I can take my file in Bridge and hit Command R. Now, once I'm in Camera Raw, I've got access to all of the controls I'd normally have just for raw files. And we can see that there's a lot of information sitting in these files. So what we want to do is recover as much information from the highlights as possible. We're just going to take our shadow slider and pull that over to the far right. And maybe we want to pull the highlights down just a little bit now. If I want to get a little more shadow detail, I could increase the exposure and then recover the brightest areas with highlight. If I want to give it a little bit of mid-tone punch or contrast, I can pull the clarity over. Maybe I want a little more vibrance. And I could even do things like warm this image up a bit. Now if I zoom in, we'll see that in opening up the image, we've created a little bit of noise. But I can come over here and quickly and easily remove that noise from the image. If we back up, and toggle our preview here, we can see we've dramatically changed the look of this image. Let me show you another really cool thing that you can do in Camera Raw with your iPhone shots. OK, same deal. I'm going to hit Command R to open this into Camera Raw. And with this one, I'm not going to worry about changing the tone of the image. I just want to show you what we can do around lens correction. So if I just hit A, not only does the image correct for distortion, chromatic aberration or color fringing, and vignetting, but we adjust the perspective as well. And this is something that happens really often with mobile photography. If we were to come over here to our profile, we'd see that we have profiles built for all sorts of different lenses and cameras. And in this case, I've got the Apple iPhone 4, although you can see we've got all sorts of different iPhone profiles as well. So there you see that this very common, very popular camera can be made even better by coupling it with Photoshop. By passing files through Camera Raw, we could do things we could never do in camera.